Phyrexia All Will Be One seems to be holding up pretty well. What does this tell us about Magic the Gathering in this year? Well, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day. Today I wanna to have a conversation about Phyrexia All Will Be One, particularly looking at the set booster boxes. Um, this set is performing better than I anticipated the set would be. And I don't know exactly what the factors are for that. If you would love to leave a comment in the comment section, what is it about this set that you like? I'm very curious to hear from you. And it doesn't really matter what my thoughts are on it or what other people's thoughts on it, the market is saying that this set is successful. In fact, it looks a lot like Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set boxes looked like. Prices came out, they dropped down to like the $220 to $225 range, and then they quickly shot back up. And in Kamigawa's standpoint, it went all the way up to about $145. And now this one in Phyrexia All Will Be One, we're at an inflection point where things are trending upwards into the 130s. Today, there's already been about 30 boxes sold at $128, and the number of boxes between that and looking upwards is starting to thin out. So I do think um, that these boxes have a chance to follow the same trajectory as Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, which in my opinion is a fantastic fantastic home run for a Magic the Gathering set in 2023. I did not anticipate that we would see something perform like Kamigawa did. So when I ask a couple questions, um, why this is and what this means looking forward. Again, I think I don't fully understand why the consumer likes this set 100%. I know it's Phyrexia and that kind of stuff. I'd love to hear that from you. But I do want to tell you a couple of things that I am seeing behind the scenes that may have added to this a little bit. Number one, this set is coming out in a time period where they already have seen the uh, the implications of overprinting and they may have adapted. We've all been talking about at some point, Wizards of the Coast might pull the shift, pull the switch and adapt their print run. And you know, somebody maybe get caught, get caught under ordering. And that could have happened. If you take a look at, you know, when they were probably thinking through the print supply of this, when pre-orders went out, um, I think that that, that followed Follows in line with us. And additionally, stores ordered less of this product. They pre ordered less of this product. We all were upset about Magic 30th. Almost every store I've talked to reduced their ask for Magic the Gathering products in the last six months, leading into this first really major set. Uh, a little bit Dominaria remastered, uh, but really this first major set in which stores kind of scaled back a little bit comparatively. And so I personally think uh, that that has seen a huge impact in the TCG player eBay market because stores ordered less and the set was more exciting than people thought it was gonna be. Uh, the consumers also ordered less, but then when they started seeing the cards or seeing what they wanted, they picked it up more and then stores had less supply. So you are seeing less boxes end up on TCG player and eBay because the supply at a store level is less. Now. Distro orders kind of based on what stores order and distro doesn't have to take the amount of risk as stores do. As a store owner, I have to put in my ask um, and basically they give me whatever allocation based on what everybody else asks, but they put their order in uh, to the, you know, to wizards based on kind of what we pre-order. They sell it and, you know, they have much less risk on that end than we do. So they are pretty much out of everything for Exia. There was a recent Stock. It was very small restock this week on set boxes. Um, collector boxes are still really difficult to get. Obviously we have the all will be one complete bundle coming out in a couple weeks. But from a supply standpoint, uh, this set seems incredibly um, hard to get after a, a Magic the Gathering set. I could have gotten Dominaria United pretty much right after release. I could have gotten a, a good chunk of it, even collector boxes, even now, like you can get a bunch of them. We saw the big Amazon dump of Dominaria United. Even Dominaria remastered with the draft box thing, like you can still get a bunch of that stuff. 
Um, so this set, I think, has the potential to be underutilized and underprinted, as well as a more exciting set than people thought it would be. Now, the other thing that I've had a couple of conversations with uh, is that there is some internal dialogue at Wizards where they are aware, despite what they say in the Fireside chat, um, they are aware of how their print run has affected the secondary market. And there is some internal dialogue based on just a couple of conversations I've had uh, with, with people. Um, there is some internal dialogue going on there about this kind of print situation, which makes sense. It doesn't make sense to come out and say there's no issue. Issue. That was the file chat, uh, but it's all this like PR thing going on right now. Um, and so they're trying to save face, but I think they are adapting. So what does this mean for you if they if they are utilizing this? Well, I think if you take a look at Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, you need to be very, very careful that you don't overextend in this interim. We know we will see more of this product sometime. Now, if that's in six months or if that's in three weeks or whenever that is, we don't know that for sure, but we know we will see more Phyrexia All Will Be One set boxes eventually. So this is absolutely not the time to like stock up on the product. Uh, for Kamigawa, we saw boxes kind of go up to 145, and then there was an initial, another wave of this product that came and it just chopped the market in half. You can see, I'll put up that graphic. It just absolutely chopped the market in half all the way back down to like the 120s. So in my opinion, if you're able to get boxes at the 120 to $130 range, you can get them at cavdainsmarket.com for 125. Uh, if you're able to get boxes in that range, I think that is a safe play both short term in terms of opening a product and enjoying it, because I do see these boxes trajecting a little bit higher before they come down in a reprint. But it's also a little bit of safe play if you want to go ahead and accumulate those boxes in the longer term. Now, if you are a sealed product investor collector, um, I, you know, outside of like having maybe one on your shelf to enjoy right now, I think you should just wait. You should just hold this off. You can get Kamigawa right now pretty easily. I would just hold off until you can get these boxes at 115 to 120 if they do come out with a more massive wave. It's obviously less uh, risky to just wait that way. I don't think that set boxes are gonna be this huge miss out point. Now, collector boxes are a whole nother story. Collector box pricing currently at like that 220, um, it's showing signs in my opinion of weakness and of lack of interest. The set boxes seem to be what people want in the set, not really the collector boxes. Um, and that was different than Kamigawa. Obviously Kamigawa had those really chase cards and the neon ink cards. And that step and complete foil is just not doing it, I think, for a lot of people. So, um, and on top of that, you have the, the complete bundle that comes out that people really want and are waiting for. So all that being said, I think focus in on set boxes. If you're looking to open up product and enjoy the, the kind of ripping of product, set boxes have some phenomenal list slots phenomenal cards in the list, really cool you know, uh, cards that you can pull, full arts, foils, it's a really great product. Um, so at the end of the day, I hope that they are, I hope some of these rumors of the print run is true. And I do hope that this set or the next set is where we get caught in this kind of under ordering and the market skyrockets as a result. That will happen. I think it's happening a little bit right now, uh, but I do think they are, they're testing these things out and that it's gonna happen more in the future. So let me know what you think. Again, if you if you love this set, why are you opening it? I wanna know. I wanna know what it is that you're chasing. What are you chasing it for? Is it commander? Is it, you know, is there something in mod? What is it that you are looking for that you are excited about? Uh, and why do you enjoy opening it? Because I would love to hear that from you. That being said, uh, hopefully you have yourself a fantastic day and a great weekend. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember to be kind to the people around you.